Today, I'm showing you an unboxing and first impressions of a fountain pen. This is my first Narwhal fountain pen, and it's an exclusive. It's the Narwhal Voyage Chicago Edition, limited to just 300 units. It's an exclusive from Atlas Stationers in Chicago. And uh, I got this pen over uh, the Thanksgiving Black Friday holiday deal. I got it for 36% off retail, including on Atlas website, 36% off. And on top of that, no tax and free shipping. So I think it's quite the deal. And what I love about resin pens uh, is that you never know quite what you're going to get. Like a box of chocolates. Thanks, Forrest. Um, what you see in the picture on the website is not exactly what you're going to get. Uh, there's variation, and I love that. It's a surprise. It's like a Christmas present. You know, you don't know what's underneath the wrapping paper. So, anyways, I'm not a professional pen reviewer. There are dozens, if not hundreds of channels of professional pen reviewers on YouTube. I'm just a collector of things, and uh, fountain pens happen to be one of them. Uh, anyways, oh, well, let's get going. Without further ado, we will unbox this. Just bear with me here. Like that, okay. The other side. And we'll open it. Well, we have some paper on the top. We have a note. And there's the pen. So I'll take this out and put the box aside. And now we got to contend with the typical bubble wrap. So we got that. Okay. Okay, so we have a uh, Narwhal box with their logo. Uh, let's see. It just just some basic information there. So let me see how to open this. Okay, there we go. And there's a box inside. I'm struggling. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, finally. Okay, there's the interior box. Looks like it opens on this end. Nope, the whole thing opens up. Okay. We got the Narwhal Voyage on the front. And we have... A little business card, I guess, diamond cast. Um, the material contains uh, diamond dust. So there's a glitter. I, I guess particularly outside, if you were to take the pen outside, you'd see quite the sheen. And this is a piston pen. So there's a description on the back here on this card on how to fill it. And here's the pen. Let's see, I'll take it out. Oh, we got more blue in there, more blue and gray than I was expecting, which is fine. It's got a nice balance of reds and blues and grays. So very nice. Um, I'm sure this unscrews, yes. The cap unscrews. Small finial at the top of the cap, as you can see, it's rounded. The clip, very nice, substantial clip. And then we have the pen, and I bet the nib and the feeder are, are uh, good on these. 
And let me see. Well, what you do is you turn the piston to fill it up. And here is a window to view the ink level on your pen. So that's very nice. I, I understand this is a well-crafted pen, despite being made in China. It's apparently... Now, now China makes some good fountain pens. Uh, they've got the real cheap stuff, but they're getting better. It's like anything else. Um, if you approach China and say, hey, I want you to make iPhones, but this is the quality control, and this is what we expect. Well, they can do it. Uh, now, China makes a bunch of cheap stuff because if you make three or four bucks a day as a laborer, well, they pass it on to the consumer. So a lot of sweatshops out there, but they also make some quality stuff. And this pen is certainly one of them. Uh, it, very nice, very nice resin, and I like it. Well, that's about it. I uh, don't really have anything else to say about it. Uh, but there are a few videos on, on the Chicago edition, so you can check those out. And anyways, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, and thanks, for thanks so much for watching.